what's going on here? I know what's going on here. It's time for a new project. Sort of, I guess, actually. I'm gonna be cautious when I use that. Wouldn't say it's a new project at all. I would say it's actually one of my oldest projects. The first video I ever released on this channel was actually a video explaining this cool project that I was doing. It was a HJ47 body on an 80 series frame with a 1VD from a 70 series. An old video and you can watch it if you want to get the whole rundown. It's a hard watch, but it's got the info in it. I wouldn't recommend it. Basically, that's all you need to know. The important thing, and what I'll be focusing on this video, is the cab. It was completely f It was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. There was just bits falling off of it. Places where you would never even think rust would be, there was rust. And I was, you know, yeah, let's get in and do all this. And I could have, I could have, but then, I took on one project and another and this and that and that and it, you know, I haven't worked on it in like a year because it's just like so much. It was so much. It was insane. And so I scrapped the idea of trying to fix that cab. And so I needed to get a new cab. I don't know if you guys have really perused the markets for HJ47 cabs in good condition, but they're basically like $2,500 minimum, which I was happy to pay, but I would have to wait till after this project and a few other things. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll leave it and I'll just get a good, cab and I'll start from there so I won't have to worry about any of this rust nonsense but like all good projects something came up on marketplace that I simply could not ignore I simply could not ignore it and neither could you you could not ignore it either if you saw what I saw on this fateful day I was scrolling through and I saw exactly what I needed a HJ47 cab and I looked at a few of the pictures and I saw some pretty nice looking panels, still a bit of rust, still a bit of rust, but nothing in comparison to what my old one was, nothing. I just thought, I'll just go and get it. Got a little box trailer, because I knew these cabs fit in a little four by two box trailer. That's something, if you ever wanna go pick up one of these cabs, they do fit in little four by two box trailers, just. I drove down there, picked it up, brought it back. The more you look at it, the more you realize how much better it is than the old one. So much better. And it was only $150. $150. That's less than what I pay for one panel. These panels are like $250 each. But as I said, the floor plan still needs to be repaired. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I guess this is technically the first episode in a long build log. Gotta repair this rust. I've got the four pans already, cut them out and make sure that the body mounts are all good because that's the one reason I bought this cab is because the body mounts were actually intact and in their right position. And this is going on an 80 series chassis. So I need the body mounts to be in their correct spot when I put the body mounts on the chassis. So I'm gonna try and do the whole lot in this video, but now I've got to start cutting. But first I've noticed on this cab, there is some of the factory Toyota sound deadening. It's the tar stuff. And I know from doing a lot of these, that sometimes, if it's nice and dry under there, you can take that tar off and it's actually completely protected that panel underneath. You'll have a really nice panel. So I'm gonna get chiseling and then cutting and then cutting and then drilling and then chiseling and then cutting and drilling and chiseling and cutting and drilling. And then we can think about welding. to get this out of storage. Got a few scratches on it, bit of dust. Not to worry, not to fear. Perfectly good, brand new.
So I've done all the cutting. I've cut all of the rust out of the floor pan and you'll notice that I didn't just cut the whole floor pan out. I left a few little bits in there and that's because they weren't rusted out. Only cut out the rust. Try to leave as much panel in there as possible, especially with the floor pans because getting the right depth and position can be very difficult if, you have, if it's all rusted and you have to do it yourself. It's impossible. So the rust converter has set. So now it's time to seal that up. Because as I said, you cannot leave the rust converter on its own. You have to put something on it. In the last video, I put etch primer over it because it was just being put back together again. The two panels were being put back together again and it was fine. But this, I've actually got a weld onto that rust converted area. So that's why I'm using this. This is like a weld through primer. That's probably what you'll be hearing it most as is weld through primer. They sold this in a tin at Bunnings, which is pretty cool. This is zinc, 91% uh, zinc, superior rust protection, ideal for welds. It's just good, seal it all up, especially in that body mount where I'm not gonna be able to get to. I want it to be fully sealed forever. So I'm gonna lather this stuff on and then I'll be able to actually get to the welding of the floor pan.
this is it. We're ready to get this full pan in. Look at it, there it is. Just uh, set up there. Nice, I've got it in its rightful spot. There are actually a couple of little things I have to do first. What we just did there, we got the uh, this outer seal in. Um, this is just a bit of RHS that I cut up and I had to weld it up at the top and down here. And so now it will actually sit flush up. This new rust cut will actually sit nice and flush up against it. And so that'll be the right spacing this way. So what I now have to do is where it mounts underneath here, I have to drill out all the spots for the spot welds on the little lip of the actual new rust cut that we have. Then I also need to drill the spots for the spot welds in this body mount here. If we come around this side, we can see, it goes up here and we see all of this original Toyota panel. And then there's the overlap with the new panel. So I need to cut out the new panel. I'll do some tack welds first, but then cut it out so that it's all of the new panel and the old panel and it all joins up correctly. Then apart from that, it'll just need to be spot welded. And then up the top here, I'll have to create some just little flat bits to join them, which won't be super difficult. And then repeat the whole thing on the other side.
Wouldn't you look at that? Wouldn't you look at that? It is looking pretty good. You saw me there just chuck a bit of um, paint over the top, that zinc stuff that I showed earlier after grinding it down a little bit. I didn't grind all the welds down. Got heaps of paint up and down here. Obviously when it gets sandblasted, that'll all come off again, but then the whole thing will be put in some form of good primer. But yeah, look at all that. The comparison is crazy. So yeah, that's the top bit replaced and the floor pan and obviously a bunch of stuff around here, the extra stuff down the bottom here. But basically the whole idea was to get this into a solid enough place to where I could put this onto a chassis and actually bolt it all down and it's all strong enough to stay there. So that's gonna be it for this video. I've just got to copy the exact same thing on the other side. It's, there's nothing new. It's literally the exact same thing just down there. There's, they were pretty much in the exact same conditions. But next, I've got to put the body mounts onto that chassis over there so that I can get this cab mounted on the chassis finally, after years, years and years. So that's it for this one and I will see you on that next video.